Um, I feel really like basic today. Hair up, white top, nothing too crazy. But I was feeling just very like fresh, clean spring vibes, even though it's been like chucking it down rain outside, but that is an English spring, is it not? Hello lovelies, welcome to today's video. It is March favourites, which means it's April, which is the month of my birthday. <laughs> which gets me very excited every year because now I can start planning for my birthday shenanigans which is always really great. I love this top, I feel very cute in it. It's flouncy. Oh, hello. If you are new here, welcome, welcome, welcome. This is my channel. We have lots of fun and I have a hair on my lip. Oh my god, I think I got it first time. That never happens. Um, I do my favourites in a specific way to stop me from rambling on for days and days about all the things I've loved this month. Um, so I actually every month pick a food favourite, a fashion favourite, a beauty favourite, a home favourite and my lifesaver of the month. So something that's really really helped me in one way or another. Could be anything. Once it was my cat. Because listen cats get you through the month okay let's get started I'm gonna start with fashion and you're gonna be able to tell <laughs> from the way that it looks how much I love this item of clothing it is this lazy oaf rainbow top with a little smiley face on the chest there's the little smiley face it's got a little bit of a it's got the lazy oaf neckline that they always do a little bit of a high neckline long sleeves long big and boxy and just oh my god so i wanted this when i last did my lazy oaf haul this was one of the items i actually went on there to buy that day and then it was sold out and i was absolutely gutted and then just randomly i was scrolling through the website and they had a couple in in my size and i was like yes and you know what i might even like buy another one i'm that obsessed with it i've i've got a feeling it's going to be one of my most worn lazy oaf items and oh we have a friend <laughs> this will be one of my most worn items of a lazy earth clothing or just of clothing in general it's unbelievably comfy my cats are obsessed with the smell of my makeup Hi. my baby i love you okay you're going i got too keen cats prefer it if you play hard to get um yeah so i ordered it it came and straight away when i got it out of the bag i knew i was going to be obsessed with it the material is so lovely so soft and stretchy and the perfect thickness like not too thick not too light i and you can wear it in honestly a million ways which i don't know if you think you would think that with what it is but i've worn it in a million different ways since i've had it and i I can't take it off like I'm obsessed I feel like it's gonna be one of those things that I wear and wear and wear and wash multiple times and yeah maybe I'm just gonna need another one because I'm that obsessed with it and it was only 45 pounds and I know 45 pounds is a lot for a top I don't want to see enough I'm totally out of touch with the real world because I'm not but for lazy oaf prices that's not bad because actually you could wear this as a dress it comes down nearly to my knees and I'm five foot eight um, and I'm big so like a lot of their stuff that's meant to be long is short on me. Maybe that's why I love this because actually it's got the oversized feel it's meant to have on me. I don't know why Lazy Oaf don't just say that their clothes, like with items like this, they could state that this fits up to a size 18 because it does. Like, so it really annoys me that they say that this is a medium to large which is meant to be according to them for a 12 to 14. And it do doesn't just fit me, it's, it literally fits me like it fits the model. It's oversized um, and boxy and delightful. So yeah, that's annoying. But we all wish Lazy Oaf would do plus sizes, don't we? That's been an ongoing thing for a long time. But yeah, I'm obsessed with this. I think it's one of those things where it feels really good quality as well. Like, it just does. I'm, I'm, in, I'm just in love. I'm in love. I, every time I wear it, I love wearing it. And that is what I want out of my clothes. My food item obviously had to be something Easter related because it's just been Easter. 
um, and I have a 12 pack <laughs> of them. This literally, I'm not even going to lie to you, no one got me this for Easter. I bought it myself from the supermarket in amongst my food shop because this will literally last me like months. <laughs> um, I'm not like, I'm not going to be grabbing one every day, um, but I hate like, cream eggs are one of my all time favourite chocolate or sweet items, confectionery items. They have been since I, was been li since I was little and I know sometimes you can find them all year round, but sometimes you can't and so I literally bought this as my like secret stash to last me forever. Um, <laughs> I, who doesn't love a cream egg? How do you eat yours? I eat the top off and then eat the middle and then eat the chocolate bottom of the outside bit. Doesn't everyone though? I don't think I've ever met anyone that eats it differently to that. If you just put the whole thing in your mouth, like, are you a monster? <laughs> I can't even imagine that. <laughs> Surely, like, you just choke on it. I don't know. My home item this month, I feel is very grown up, very adult, adulting. Um, I wanted new towels when we moved and we've been here a year and it still hasn't happened. It's funny all the things you think you'll spend money on when you buy a house and then when you move in and you realise, oh um, yeah, it's really like food and water or towels um, and you go without new towels. That's just life. And also it's, it's no secret, I've talked about it lots, that we've had lots of problems with our house. Currently we have a problem with our boiler and a leak in our house so uh yeah fun times <laughs> so that's why it's taken me so long to get these but i got them from next and they are quite expensive they're the um egyptian cotton 100 egyptian cotton pile super soft and absorbent 600 gcm i don't even know what that means in the color dove i got a light gray and a dark gray ben's a lot ben's a dark gray mine a light gray i was just like who cares like just pick a towel out and use it but he was like no we have to have like my towels and your towels my family never did that we just had towels in the cupboard and you'd like use it and then wash it and then like use a new one I don't, but he always had like his towels and then his mum had her towels so actually the reason why I'm in love with these is because when I moved in with Ben and his mum really sweet his mum was like a home welcoming present um bought me new towels that matched our bedroom colors it was really really sweet and honestly they're the longest lasting staying soft towels I've ever had so I knew I wanted to go back and get the exact same towel but in different colours um yeah so I got this light grey and this is actually the XL bath sheet which is the biggest size in 26 pounds it was and then I got some hand towels some face towels like basically the whole matching set of both colours so it was very expensive that little shop just for towels but even just sitting here, like I could lay under this as a blanket, it's that soft. Um, and they're just, they are really absorbent, they dry really great. Some super soft towels don't grow up dry you well. Do you find that? I do. So yeah, they, honestly, right, so I've, oh my god, I've just realised telling that story. I've had those towels that Ben Mum bought me for six years now. And they're still soft and still like in perfect condition. Other than that they have a couple of bleach stains because I bleached my hair and used them girl problems my beauty item i'm actually wearing today my beauty favorite um but don't judge it on this because i've layered a couple of other things over the top of this lipstick so um yeah this isn't exactly what it looks like but i did wear it in what did i wear it in I'll put the video name that I wore it in here, but I've worn it in a few videos recently and I've talked about it briefly. Um, and I said in the video, I'm gonna leave this talking about this because I know it's gonna end up in like my favorites and here we are. It's the Their Real Double The Lip Benefit and it's actually a lip liner and lipstick in one, which I was like, that makes no sense because I expected it, like look at it, I expected it to be like a double ended where the lip liner's here and the lip, product is here or something this is honestly like nothing else I've ever used or seen um, and I've actually never used a benefit lip product before now this came in a set I got for Christmas and I've only just started using it this month and I it's my now is my go-to lip product and I've never really been as you'll probably know if you've been around for a while on my channel um, I've never really been one for like nudes or neutral type colors um, 
I always just like a quite bold lip or I used to just not bother but now this is like I could wear this every day um the colors are lusty rose which is the lip liner and beyond sexy which is the lipstick color um so it's got both the colors on the end there sorry i'll put this down um this is the mini because it came in a set but i'm a hundred million thousand percent going to buy the full size one and i hope they never discontinue it because it's my fave like let me roll it out and show you i don't know how well you can see that from there but basically the top it's shaped like a like a teardrop and the top that's the thinner bit is a darker colour than the lower one. And if you think about it, when you're putting that on, that means that this pointed edge at the top of the teardrop is lining your lips as the bottom is putting on lipstick. It's insane. It also sounds like it could be quite like messy. When I first wore it, I was like, how the hell am I going to do this? But honestly, it's the easiest thing. Just apply it like any other lipstick. And it's the most beautifully smooth non-drying it's kind of matte um but definitely not drying smooth lovely to apply feels great on my lips for hours um i'm just obsessed with it i haven't been this excited about a lip product in a very 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 long time so yay and that brings us to my lifesaver of the month which is the lush lip scrub this is actually uh, in the bubblegum flavor and if you haven't used these before basically it's like just a sugar scrub uh, that's what it's looked like obviously I love the fact that it's like bright pink literally smells and tastes like bubblegum and you just um, get a bit on your finger and just rub it on your lips and then rub your lips together um, and then you can just lick your lips and like just basically eat it. <laughs> it literally says how to use scoop out gently scrub your lips and then lick any excess away for a perfectly polished powder because I think it's literally just sugar and some other stuff that's edible so yeah you can just lick your lips it is very very tasty first thing in the morning though it's a bit sweet so I do tend to wipe it off if I'm using it first thing in the morning but any other time of the day I'm licking this baby up <laughs> it's tasty it just really is lovely and I have very very sensitive skin very sensitive lips and um, it's not really not too harsh at all which I always thought a lip scrub would be bubblegum is my favorite but I did also get the uh, Valentine's Day one from my boyfriend for Valentine's Day because I said to him can you get me the pink um, lip scrub for Valentine's Day like that's all I actually asked for when we were like what do you fancy for Valentine's Day um, and he got me both because he was like they're both pink I just know which one you meant and it's got little love hearts in it which is really really cute listen it's been cold in the UK cold wet dry icy snowing the weather has been crazy so it's really taken its toll on my skin and on my lips and they've just been dry and gross and you can't get the best look from a lip product if your lips are all crusty and a mess so I love to use this beforehand wipe it off and then apply whatever I'm applying to my lips and yeah I'm obsessed with it it's definitely helped make my face look 10 times better <laughs> i hope you enjoyed today's video that is it that was everything that i've been loving not everything that i've been loving but this is why i have to give myself five things and stick to it because i could talk forever um but those are my favorites from march i'm really excited for april i feel really positive i actually wrote a blog post recently and um, my blog is always linked down below definitely go and check it out um i do a lot of like real photograph heavy outfit of the day type posts and then i also do a lot of wordy posts that are advice or me talking about my experiences um with everything from being plus size to being unwell with lupus to to everything basically um it's like my little journal that you get to read and i wrote a blog post recently about how i don't know i've just felt this like uneasy energy recently of like that things are changing and I know obviously the seasons have changed um, but that things are going to be changing personally for me and that actually it might be quite big changes and whilst I feel ready and excited it's got me kind of a bit uneasy like so I'm trying to harness it and breathe through it but definitely go and read it because I did ask for some advice at the bottom of it to do with spirituality, crystals, meditation, all that kind of thing so if you do have any advice on those topics please go and read the post and 
help a sister out. Um, I hope we all have an amazingly nourishing, successful, beautiful April and entire spring. And yeah, please subscribe to the channel if you aren't already. I do upload two new videos every single week on Tuesdays and Fridays. I'd just love to have you. I hope you're all having a beautiful day and I will see you again soon. Bye.